I'm finally here at TMX KSA, the Marvel Experience event, going for the first activity. So you're gonna see a lot of blogs, vlog, a lot of details and everything. This is the first tomb we are in. This is about give, for Tony Stark giving orientation about his armor and shields and his job. So basically you have like three, four different screens and the armor display itself. Tony Stark armors on display. Right now they've turned off the lights, but uh, you have Prime, Maze, Galaxy, Spartan, Hi Fi, and Phantom. They didn't display Hulkbuster, but, anyways, it's a good display. Then with Tony Stark's lab. Now, we are in Shield Command Center. Blaster Gallery. Sorry. So let's see. Oh, okay. This is like some kind of an interactive game. On one direction. Yeah. Just keep on. Shooting. Just keep shooting and keep moving. Got it. Okay. Got it. We have to shoot at the cards, okay? Yalla. Fast, quickly, yes. Keep on shooting, Bakar. Very good. Okay. In the center. Shoot green goblin. Shoot green goblin. Yeah, 
have to shoot here ah these androids so come on very good come on oh so many robots androids Recruit training center, Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Thank you, guys. This is where you get Hydra villains information. Got details about different armors and weaponry that are used in Marvel Universe. Simulation tracking. You have Black Panther beam. Now going for dome number five, which is going to be a 3D show. Okay, we are now going to the transport corridor, which is dome number 6. Let's see what this is all about.
just did our uh, final dome which was uh, the flight simulator what an adventure it was uh, and right now we are here in the cafeteria we are now in the Jim Steranko artwork from I think Captain America 100 or 101 and then you've got this uh, new artwork which is about Marvel experience uh, this one I think it's Bob Layton if I'm not mistaken but this one yeah another Jim Steranko artwork for Hulk and yes this is the Todd McFarlane Spider-Man Some really good stuff. Now we have Marvel Select. So we have a lot of wide variety over here, whether it's for Guardians of the Galaxy, Wolverine, Thor, X-Men. Some bigger merchandise that's here. And yeah, if your kids if you want to buy costumes for your kids, you can buy them from here. Here are some sweatshirts. Some of the Funko Pop dolls that you can find. You have Gamora vs. Sparrow. You have metals. Plush. Obviously, most of the stuff is Marvel, but a lot of it is for little kids. The collector items, the only ones I saw, are the Marvel Select action figures. But I still haven't been able to find the Marvel Legends ones, which are the more popular items for the collectors category. If you are into hoodies, they are selling a lot of good hoodies like Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk. Black Panther, we've got the shielded ones, there are beanie caps as well.
right guys we just finished our trip at marvel experience event and it turned out to be a very fun experience especially if you're having a family if you've got kids it's good for both adults and kids because of the virtual reality and augmented reality segments that they have uh, for me the best part was uh, participating in the flight simulator uh, in which we were teamed up with shields uh, nick fury and superheroes like iron man wolverine spider-man against the red skull uh, the, the, it, the impact of the aerial fight, we could feel it all. Uh, so uh, there, there's a lot th that's going on uh, with respect to all of these uh, aspects. Uh, obviously, I think they have like six to seven domes. Each one of them is giving you a different kind of an experience, whether it's uh, straightforward orientation from Nick Fury and Tony Stark. You can see the Iron Man armor is being displayed. Uh, you have uh, some fun-filled games that are really designed for the kids. There are some activities that are good for both kids and adults. And last but not least, by the time you finish it, you come across uh, the courtyard. This is the courtyard that you find over here where you can buy some uh, Marvel merchandise, I've show, uh, you, you, which you've seen in the previous uh, shots that I've taken. So uh, this activity is going to continue till the 4th of May. My recommendation to you would be that uh, just decide on a day, make sure you visit this place uh, with your family and trust me you guys are going to have a really good time. The only thing uh, I have uh, for those families uh, who are not uh, familiar with the Arabic language, most of the content that you're going to find is in Arabic language. Uh, however, the promoters, uh, the staff members are quite supportive if they find uh, a family that uh, doesn't understand Arabic much so they try to translate it and help as much as possible. They are also very much friendly with the kids. So a good hospitable staff and uh, the ticket price is uh, like 100 reals whether it's for the kid or an adult but it's still worth it. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, like my page on Facebook and let's build a superhero community in Jeddah. Thank you very much.